Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program 2. We are doing the exploration slash career mode, and we have a mission to land on the surface of the Mun. Let's take a look and see what we have to do with that. Greetings, Director. Sorry to be single-minded, but all of us in Mission Control want to get started right away. Your objective is to land a rocket on the surface of the Mun. You'll want to land slowly, preferably under 10 meters per second. The lack of atmosphere means parachutes won't work at all. You can pump your brakes by gently burning retrograde. Remember, you'll want to cancel out your horizontal velocity before falling to the ground. Sure, landing on your side might be fun, but launching from that position is a leading cause of go boom. After you've completed the most significant achievement in world history, we're gonna need one of the crew to look outside and verify something. Remote observation has shown us that the crust of the moon is covered with regolith. That's just a fancy word for loose rocks and dust. The moon is likely a rock covered in smaller rocks, but there is an infinitesimally small chance that it is not. Do you want to know what else it could be? Promise not to judge. I didn't want to worry you, but the head of the snacks department stopped by today. They have a vested interest in this mission. And if we don't confirm the moon's surface composition for them, they're going to cut off our snack supply. Shh, don't repeat it. The engineers have super hearing. I realize this is ridiculous, but we need to prove that the surface of the moon is not made of cheese, butter, marshmallow cream, or any other spreadable dairy product. Of course, I told them the odds of any dairy product surviving the cold vacuum of space was nil, but until we can disprove this notion of a delicious mun, the snack department will never give us a moment's peace. While we wait for you to send word, I'll be doing a bit of stress decorating. The colors you chose for our flag show it a refined taste, but this room still lacks atmosphere. What? I figured a joke might lighten things up, so comedy doesn't float your boat. Fine. Alright, so we are going to land on the surface of the mun. We also have first dibs plant a flag within the mare on the mun. I'll go ahead and track it as well. We're not going to worry about too much the, uh, the uh, perfect circle just yet. Because uh, we can do that, you know, some other time. Throw, in, throw a, uh, another satellite into orbit. I'd like to get some better radio communication before we put more satellites up so let's go to VAB and we need to land on the MUN and in order to land on the MUN we need a MUN lander and so this little tin can here the Explorer is gonna be our lander I believe oh the tin can was the first one <laughs> the Explorer is the lander can aptly named would have been the tin can for this one but that's that's okay that's neither here nor there all right so we got the lander can we need a little bit of thrust to get back off of the mun so let's take a look at the trip planner and we need to go to the mun okay to get to the mun surface we need 580 delta v and then to get back off the moon surface, we need another 580. I don't think that's 100% true, but uh, we'll take that at face value. So we need uh, 1160 delta V in this little guy here to get us to the moon surface and back. So with that being said, we probably need some monopropellant. And it looks like the only monopropellant I have is in the can. We don't have any small ones. But I, I chose not to buy that. So, <laughs> silly me. Um, does this thing have monopropellant on its own? Um, does it show? It does have a teeny tiny amount. And it does have a reaction wheel in it as well. So... That's good, at least. Um, so, <clears throat> let's go ahead and not worry about having monopropellant then. Let's put on some thrust. And we'll put on something small like this Terrier engine. That's 1,781 right there. That's, that's a perfect amount to get us down to the surface of the mine, but guess what? 
chicken butt. Yes, chicken butt, indeed. We will need other stuff on here, and that will increase our weight, unfortunately. So we're going to put on an antenna. We're going to need some batteries. What's lighter? This is much lighter. Although, when I add two of them on, it's going to be the same weight as this. But it'll increase my stack height, and so I don't want that. So we're just going to put... Actually, let's put these down here. We'll put on these uh, small solar arrays. Like so. That should be fine for what we are doing. And... Because I want to keep my weight small. And we'll need landing legs. Obviously. Obviously. Where is, it? Where is the landing legs? And the wheels? Yeah. Alright. Wallaroo or bandicoots? So these wallaroos can hold more, but they uh, weigh more. Extend them right quick. Uh, okay, I think that's good. That puts us down to 1589, which makes it much much closer to our to our uh, target. Delta V, which makes me a little nervous. So, the impact tolerance for these is, is the same. Let's see what these little bandicoots look like. Are they even long enough? Ooh, just barely. We'll bump that engine. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can just get these down just a little. Like that, that'll be better. Okay. All right. Well, that's the uh, that's the lander. It's very very rudimentary, and uh, and so we'll, we'll, there's one last thing we need, and that is a docking thing, docking port. That's gonna be heavy. Oh, what? Really? It weighs zero. 0.05 okay oh there there it goes okay all right it just took a second for it to change we're still good all right so this will be our lander this is the mun lander so now we need to put this on a rocket so if we uh how do we do we can put these in a sub assembly like in uh the other game i don't see sub assemblies anywhere we are going to uh put on um the main rocket now and we'll flip this thing over like so and he will be on top of the rocket like so Oh, that's big. That's a big, that's a big boy. Look at that. Well, that's not going to work. Well, that's not going to work. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and put this on, even though it looks redonkulous. And, uh, I didn't realize the tin can was so huge compared to the... I mean, the Explorer was so huge compared to the tin can. Interesting. Alright, well. Anywho, I don't... I hate that. I hate it so much. I can't... I couldn't hate it more. I hope that thing does not interfere with our parachutes. You know what? <clears throat> Forget the docking port altogether. We don't need a docking port on either one. We are going to put on a uh, decoupler. We just won't re... Uh, we just won't bring this back. There we go. Just like that. Fantastic. Okay. So, we won't be bringing that back. And we're going to put that on there. And so I think that thing's ready. Now I just need the heat shield. And a decoupler. 
And we need to get this thing as the lower stage to the Mun orbit. Yeah, it's missing RCS. I know we're not going to be doing any precision docking though. We're just going to be flying close to it. Get the Kerbal out. And it's going to stay in the orbit. Because for one thing, it doesn't even have a uh, remote control. So, just going to stay in the orbit of the Mun forever. Okay. That's okay, we can clean it up later. The first to ratio is terrible, but I think this will get us there. Um, it's got about, if that had 1600, this is about, uh, oh, 1200. That should get us to the mine and back. Okay, now we need an additional 3600 to get us into orbit. So that will put us up to 6400 that we need. Let's put on this. We need a swivel. Okay. And now we got some big, big parts now. So we're going to put on a, another decoupler. Oh, we need a uh, fairing on this bad boy. I hate fairings. There we go. Got it. Okay. So now we need to get this thing into orbit. And we're going to do that with a big old rocket. Chonky boy. And the skipper engine. Blink. 6949, that'll get us there. But we're not going to stop there, no sir. We are going to put on some these side clamp, side boosters. Like so. And uh, we are going to throw on some kickbacks. Oh, big boys, huh? Yeah, buddy. I'm going for it. Heck yeah. And some nose cones. And some struts. Do another one down here. Like so. Okay. 7994, that should do it. The question is, do we have enough authority with our reaction wheels? Um, that's the question. Uh, there we go. Alright, fairing is built. And we got 7865. I think that'll be enough to get us there and back. I hope. Let's go ahead and throw on our clamps like so drag this bad boy down to the ground there we go all right now the question is like that now the question is who is going to be the first go to go to the mun who's going to be the first kerbal on the mun that's the question. Oh, what? What happened there? I think that's some weird stuff. Alright, who's the first Kerbal? <clears throat> Can only take one. So, who has not gone somewhere first? Brock has not gone. The good Kerman has not gone anywhere. John Wyatt, I don't believe, has gone anywhere. So, uh, let's grab, let's grab, uh, Jock to go to the Mun. Alright, he seems like a Mun traveling kind of guy. Okay, let's do it. Alright, it is sunrise on day seven. 
of the space program. Jock is in the command co uh, capsule. He will begin the journey for Kerbal Kind into the unknown with the first step on the surface of the mud. Are you ready, Jock? He's ready. Let's do this. And ready for launch. There they go. Oh, mama. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. We are on our way, baby. On our way. I think he's in the wrong command pod because we're seeing upside down here. But uh, that's okay. We're still doing our gravity turn like we would normally. He's just seeing it all backwards. Okay. He's just seeing it all backwards. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Going very smoothly. Much more smoothly than our previous launches. Detached. There we go. There we go. Skipper is doing it. The work here. She is pushing us into low curve in orbit. She should be able to get us all the way up to our apoapsis, I think. And then our first part of our upper stage will finalize the orbit. And then we'll uh, push on over to the mud. Alright, this is great. This is great. No problems. We can get up to about 85,000. There we go. Alright. We probably will be able to finish our orbit with this lower stage. Which means we can use this upper stage all for the lunar injection. And everything. So, man, we got plenty of Delta V. Plenty. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. I know this reads 270 and you're probably thinking, DV, you're going the wrong way. I'm not. He's upside down. He's in the Explorer instead of the tin can. Oh, I didn't put him in the right command module. So he's upside down. So everything's backwards. All right. Here we go. About uh, 20 seconds to the apoapsis will burn. There we go. Skipper is burning. Gonna get this orbit finalized here. You can see my periapsis is coming up. I think we'll have enough Delta V, we might go on up to 100,000 with our apoapsis, maybe. We could go ahead and get our circular orbit there, but I think we'll just go ahead and detach this. Um, it's going to be space junk. You really want space junk? Now we could do something fancy, like I could go to the apoapsis, burn retrograde, and... Um, get our oh you know what else I, I forgot to do i forgot to drop this fairing oh because we're still using it okay can i can i drop it now halo cockle shell can i jettison that now yeah i can okay. there we go fantastic let's get that off there all right so jock i need you to come out and I need you to get into the, uh, 
without busting your solar panels need you to go down to the tin can there we go there we go that'll make it everything much easier okay fantastic all right so let's go ahead and not worry about the space junk for now we'll just have space junk and um just have to deal with that okay let's go ahead and stage this oh we got 470 might as well use it right yeah, that's true let's go ahead and get our target and focus on this there we go and let's see it come around here about right there should create a maneuver plan and we're going to go prograde there we go until we get our intercept there we go and let's keep it coming in like so there we go it'll be at 250 that's fun we can uh, fix that later all right so we are going to burn in 37 seconds prograde there we go i have a feeling this is backwards still why is it so backwards because i don't want this thing burning it shouldn't be, right? Gimbal advanced. Okay, it's not activated yet. Alright. I'm a little nervous about this. I think this is gonna be wrong. I feel like we still need to burn retrograde. The controls shouldn't have they should have reversed, but they didn't. And now we're missing our burn window. Let's just burn a little bit and see. You can always go around again. Okay. Yeah. It's backwards. For some reason. Okay. We're going to burn this first stage. We're going to detach it. It's going to fly off into the boo. Attach. And there we go. And away it goes. Hopefully, at some point, it crashes into the turbine. Don't know. That'll be the case. Let's switch the focus to the mun, please. And see our. Connection here. Ooh, there we go. Fantastic. Let's just uh, dial it in a little bit more. There we go. 115. Perfect. Okay. And now I'm going to set up a maneuver node here. Can't. Okay, fine. I have to set it up over here. That's stupid. Okay. Set up a maneuver node there. And we're going to do. An orbit of the mud, just like that. Just like that, and then we'll uh, we'll get that cleaned up. Two hundred eighty-five. That's that's about right. Okay. Fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we are going to warp that spot. Uh, with this button. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Jock, you ready to leave Kerbin? I think you are. Let's do it. Whee! There goes Kerbin. Wow, there is the bun. Okay, we're here. Okay, and we need to be burning. This is so confusing the way the controls are all messed up. I guess we need to be burning. 
it should be running your retrograde, but the way the controls are backwards, even though I switched command modules. Now I have to show that we're burning retrograde. Prograde instead of retrograde. Okay, so anyway, doesn't matter. We're going to do it. And here we go. Burn. This should get us into our orbit. Looks very different. That's much better, actually. Get circular. Boop. There we go. Fantastic. All right. We are now circling the mun. Let's go ahead and get out. Bro, don't destroy the ship with your head. There you go. Fantastic. Can you let go? Whee! All right. You know what you got to do. You got to take a picture of yourself and take a selfie in front of the mun. <laughs> oh. He's uh surprised, excited, scared, all of the above. Let's uh, run a crew observation. I think it does some of these things automatically, but I like to do them manually. Okay, fantastic. Alright, let's get back into your ship. We need to determine where we want to land. Now, it said plant a flag in one of the mares, which is the lowlands of the, uh, the Mon here. Now, we're going to get back into the command module because we've got lots of Delta V in it. Less in the landing module. But we want to get into our position with the command module. Okay. So... Let's take a look. We saw somewhere when we were doing that low flyby of the Mun last time, we f we saw something strange in the neighborhood. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our periapsis here, and we are going to burn so that the apoapsis is down to about twenty thousand or so. Okay. Let's get burning so that the apoapsis is down to about 20,000. That's now the periapsis. Let's go actually down to about 15,000. All right. So now we're going to warp around to the periapsis. We're going to do the same thing. All right. We are nice and low. Nice. We're gonna burn so that our apoapsis is down nice and low as well. Already seeing some weirdness. Okay. Burn that down to get to about 14,000 as well. There we go. Fantastic. Now we're gonna keep an eye out and see if we can see anything worth landing at. Because we are nice and low. But we also want to do it on the sunny side of the of the mine as well. We don't have to worry about solar panels. Very interesting. There's something right there. There's something right there. Where are we at on the planet? We are on the sunny side. Okay. I'm assuming that it's one of the mares. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we want to be up around that area. So if we burn at the apoapsis here, and we burn this way, like that, that should maybe pass this over. I'm not sure where it's at, somewhere in this area. Okay. I hope that puts us close by to the whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Like some sort of arch. 
Okay, let's uh, let's go around to our maneuver node. We'll keep an eye out while we're traveling for any other oddities. Don't see anything so far. It's a huge moon, so I have lots of opportunities to explore. Okay. We're gonna do our burn, and I believe we need to burn. I used this. I think we're gonna have to do it the opposite. I hate that everything's opposite. Okay. Sure makes it hard. Okay. I'm gonna do a little burn just to see, and then we'll flip and. Yep. I do need that the other one. This is 52 Delta V. Okay, let's go. And ready. Burn. There we go. Fantastic. All right. I want to say it's in this area. Hopefully we see it again. And I'm going to go ahead and have him transfer over to the command module I mean to the lander I keep saying the wrong thing there we go come on down get in the Explorer and we are going to go ahead and jettison you You go. Activate the engine. Okay. Go ahead and make sure we are facing the sun as long as possible. There we go. Face the sun, please. There we go. All right. Where's those arches? Where's those arches? Up here somewhere? No. Hope I'll find them. Again. There it is. There it is. I see it. Up there on the horizon. Okay. Let's go retrograde. See, now the controls are right in this thing because it's uh, Let's extend our legs. The engine is activated, right? Yes. All right. How fast are we going? 551? We've got how much delta V here? Oh, it didn't show my delta V. The zero. That can't be right. Oh, here it is. 1695. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh, let's try to land. Go. It's gonna be really hard to judge where to land here. I'm way out of practice, and I don't—I don't know how to use the maneuver nodes as well in KSP2. They're very weird. Maybe we can hop over there or something. Okay. Looks nice and flat here. Yeah. 
be that won't be too far of a jetpack trip. All right. We are falling. And I just hope Jock doesn't get stuck on the mud. <laughs> I'm sure he hopes he doesn't either. <laughs> All right. I wish I had my information as to when I needed to do my suicide burn. Okay. Guess I better quick save it. At least the suicide burn goes bad. <laughs> okay. Carrier doesn't have just an excellent thrust to weight ratio, so we gotta keep that in mind. That does look like an arch, doesn't it? Alright. Maybe I'll start burning around a thousand. drums are beating. Maybe I'll play it safe and do 2,000. Alright, 2,000 definitely was too soon. Okay. Oh mama. This is the least efficient way to land, but it's the safest. Now I wish I would have had a science junior. Okay. If I keep it below 12, I think, whatever this lander legs is. Yeah. Bing. All right, got 946 delta V. Uh, the arches. Where are the arches located from us? Okay, so directly from the door, basically. This direction. Okay. All right. It's over the hill. It's all hills. Okay. Well, that's fine. All right, Jock, you know what you gotta do. Whoa, 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 whoa! Seriously? Bro? Wow, that I did not expect. I did not expect that at all. What are you gonna do now, Jock? Well, I could try to push it up. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a problem. For sure. But uh, let's go ahead and plant your flag. <laughs> I did not expect it to fall over, first of all, the direction it like exerted some major force opening that door there. That's it's kinda of strange. Okay, first moon landing. Moon landing, I should say. Jocko was here. Ink. Alright, Jocko. Do it. Pick a picture in front of your ship. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, go ahead and run your crew observation. So Jocko may be stranded here if we can't get that thing back up. Okay. And your surface survey. Alright. We're going to go ahead and go explore that, whatever that was. Arches of some sort. Okay, and um, I think I might just go ahead and deposit this science right quick. I don't know if that, does it do that in this game? 
this version. I don't know if you have to deposit the science to get more science or not, like you do in the old one. But. Okay, I think it's still this way. Okay, hopefully I don't run out of mono propellant. That's, that's quite a ways away, actually. We're going pretty quick. Sixty meters per second. Yeah, quit telling me about the sound exposure, please. Oh boy. Might have got going a little too fast here. Well, that's just on orbit anyway. Yeah, surface. There we go. Well, oh, that's big. Well, we're not the first beings on the moon because this is not a natural formation at all. That I can be certain. That is not a natural formation. We're not alone, folks. Not alone. I right, used almost half to get here. Probably will use half by the time I get landed here. If I can get landed without dying. There we go. I'm definitely going to go a little slower on the way back. Funk. Wow, this thing's huge. Wow. thing it's huge turn that off can I pick up rocks is that a thing in this unsurface survey yeah there's no pick up rock so might not be a thing yet oh my gosh that thing is huge if I can jump on this rock. Oof. There we go. There we go. Are you bored there, Chuck? <laughs> Yawning. I thought I thought I could like pan the camera down, but it's... there we go. Different camera view. Wow. Very cool. Got lights. Hmm, yes. Ponder the possibilities. Yes. Where's your where's your lights at? I don't know. Can't turn them on apparently. Alright, well. <laughs> okay. Now we have to go back the other, the eight and a half kilometers and hope we don't run out of stuff. Can I run a new observation here? The Mun Monument is where I'm at. Can we do a surface survey at the Mun Monument as well? 
Okay. The jewels seem to represent our something. Arch is too hard to break. Piece off of to examine. What test we can run to confirm this arch is comprised of a new element. Okay. Not been able to obtain a sample from the arch. Wherever it is made of, can't break it off. Okay. Interesting. Very cool. That was all something about the jewels, but never mind. We're off. We're back to the ship. Or back on our way to the ship. Be a long walk, buddy. Why walk when you can fly? Whee! It's only going about 20 meters per second this time, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jock, don't die. We're going to have to walk the rest of the way. That's three kilometers. Going to have to walk. Oh, boy. Need to use the last of this monopropellant propellant to slow him down here. Herbals are pretty tough. So I think he could hit at around 20 meters per second and still be okay. Oh, I have not tested that in KSP two. Just basing that on KSP one. We're about to find out. Wink. Oh, he's fine. Look at that. He's like me. Don't worry about it. All right. Well. Oh boy. All right. We have made it back to our vessel. Time warp works while you're running on KSP two. This, so that's great. That was uh, something that I always wished we had in KSP one. But uh, Jock made it back to the vessel. Fine. He's still alive. He's happy, and um, we are uh, going to try to right our ship and see if we can rendezvous with our command vessel and get back to Kerbin, but that will probably be have to be a next episode. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, and if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe, and uh-oh... I just noticed the door is now covered up. Oh, I can get in from here, looks like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hacks. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.